Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today, like always, we're going to be opening 20 packs and playing an exciting game. So let's get right started with the card pack opening. We got a golden, but nothing too special. I'm aiming, obviously, for a legendary, maybe a legendary that we can build a deck around of. More goldens, but not really what we need. Now, if you would have asked me, what legendary are you shooting for? I would tell you maybe the warrior quest legendary is pretty good. That's the one that I'd be shooting for. I mean, the chances of getting it are obviously super, super low. Especially with the fact that half of these packs are actually standard packs, so... But we'll see what we get here. So far, nothing. But even if we don't get nothing, I can just play one of my other decks and try to get something good. So far, nothing too amazing. And I mean, even if I don't get a legendary, I always say this every single time. There's still, even the common cards, there's a lot of them that I still need. So even if I get all commons, it just fills, it fills some sort of slot in my deck, even if it's not a legendary. So whatever I get is completely fine. Getting a couple epics. Giant Anacondas used in the Druid like, like quest deck, but that quest is kind of garbage to be honest. Nothing special so far. <laughs> I've noticed I've been getting a lot of Arcanologists. And I mean, that card is very, very good. I use it in most mage decks, but there's no reason to have 20 of them, so. And I already have two, so it's not like I needed it. Let's see what we get. Alright, three more. I mean, it's happened where I've gotten a legendary on the last pack before, so you never know. But I don't think we're going to get one this time. I'm not feeling the luck. But it's alright. I'll build a deck around something else if this pack doesn't have it. It doesn't look like it. I'll, I'll build the deck and we'll play something fun. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start playing. Hopefully this will be a good game. We're going to be playing the Jay Quest the Giant Hunter. Mage once again. I think I played it before. At this moment, it is actually my favorite deck. It's not the best deck, but in my opinion, it's the deck that I have the most fun with. So, I'm going to be talking through the game like usual. So, we got Open the Gateway, the quest, obviously. My hand is decent. Two Archaeologists will draw me both uh, both of my ice blocks, which is really good, and Doomsayer is a board clear. Now, you might be wondering, why is this good? Well, both Archaeologists will provide me a lot of early board uh, well, clear and dominance. Here's the thing. Hunters are aggressive. That's, that's just what hunters are. They're very aggressive, and they try to beat you very early in the game. Because I have these cards, I'll be able to kill a lot of the minions that he plays out very very quickly if he's a very aggro hunter he could have a bad draw like let me give you an example this jewel, jeweled macaw if i had nothing to deal with it it would just keep hitting my face over and over but because i have these archaeologists i'll have some board presence now this doomsayer is probably the best draw i could have to be honest he could have a giant board now he could kill the doomsayer but that will take a lot of pressure off of my face and that'll give me more turns to draw more cards to take care of him in general especially this doomsayer is going to be really strong against even this board now i'm not going to use it just yet i don't think but this early draw was pretty good see now we got a 6-4 hyena that's not good for us here but i'm sure we'll take care of it somehow i'm really thinking of maybe primordial glyph I, ha I need something to take care of it. Polymorph would do it, but I think I need another glyph. Alright, this is going to be a tough decision here. Do we freeze it and wait until next turn, or do we just vaporize and hope it attacks our us or our hero? If I vaporize, I can trade off my minion and his minion, so his minion's only one on board. But the problem is, if he has a charge minion and he's hunter he very might well have one vape prize goes out the window and his hyena still is with the freezing potion i can definitely doomsayer and kill it sooner or later 
Or wait until next turn and I can get something to take care of it. Or Kabbalah's Tome to help my quest. Kabbalah's Tome's good, but like, it's. I don't. I'm gonna get killed if I pick that. I think I'm gonna go with Freezing Potion. I think overall it's gonna be the best play. Yeah. I'm gonna freeze it for now. And I think what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Doomsayer. Now, what I just did was actually a mistake. I don't know why I, I traded my Arcanologist. I missed two damage, so that was a mistake. I missed two damage. But it's fine. I guess I'll still get it. See, another thing that the Doomster is really good is he won't play anything else. Unless he's an idiot. Which, it seems like this guy's a pretty big idiot. So, it technically ha it, it gives me a free board next turn, but... I guess this guy, I guess he's not that big of an idiot. His thought process was, I need still something on board for next turn, so he did that. Not that big of an idiot. A little bit of an idiot. I guess I just put him in a hard place and he had to play something for next turn. Which, in, in hind sense, is kind of smart. But at the same time, it, it wastes a lot of the value, I guess. But, uh, that trade value was on his end. That was good better trade value for him but that's fine now honestly here's the thing that i do like is he's playing the quest hunter but one of the things that's really known about quest hunter is it's not good quest hunter is not good it does not have a good win percentage it's just not um you could if you if it's fun play it but in a general sense it's not a good deck to play so i even though it's like, oh, 15 Raptors, each one draw a card. I can out late game him any day. And so far, if he would have had better draw, he probably could have killed me by now. But his draw was very, very poor. And I'm getting closer and closer to late game with Blizzards and fire, Flame Strikes and Volcanic Potions. So, this is not good for him. Not in the slightest. And my health, the more he gets it low, the better. That gets me closer and closer to my Molten Giants anyway. So that's completely fine. Now that's a little bit scary, and I will have to get rid of that. But I don't... I'll be able to get rid of it... If I Frost Nova and ping it, I'll be able to take care of it next turn with Flame Strike. So Flame Strike was a pretty good pickup. And hopefully I don't take too, too much damage from anything he plays. Because that, that still does give charge to his other minions. So I guess we just got to hope that he doesn't play anything gigantic, gigantic. Hopefully, if he plays a lot of smaller ones, that's, I guess, just value more flame strike value for me. So that doesn't even have charge, so that's fine. That has charge, but it's only 3 damage. But the problem is his death rattle is... is summon two one ones so if i flame strike he'll still have two one ones on board so what's the play do we blizzard or do we just flame strike and leave the two one ones on board what's the play with blizzarding i freeze the board but with flame strike i actually clear it and now this i really need to get rid of that rhino i'm starting to think maybe even if i flame strike it'll be a one one but my priority is to really get rid of that rhino I, I think I'm going to go with the Flame Strike. This is kind of like a hard game. I mean, any good player would know exactly what to do, but... Technically, I'm still learning with his deck, so... And he is a gold hunter, so he must have some experience with hunter, right? I don't know. Fury Bat? Alright, alright. Now, that's his quest done right there. And Queen Karnas is only 5 mana, so he could play that. So, he has quite a big board, right? There's quite a big board, and he could hero power. So now, it's getting a little bit scarier for me, considering I only have 10 health. Now, this is the point where a Molten Giant would be really good. Like, really good. Primordial Glyph, that could save me if I get the right spell. For now, for sure, I'm going to have to freeze it. I don't even have an Ice Block up. Oh. I almost, I almost didn't. I well, my, I could have put an ice block up, but I think I got really lucky with there. Well, I'm still gonna use this actually because 
for now, I might as well use my higher, higher mana cost blizzard. Because it'll save me mana on the next turn, which is going to be even more crucial in my opinion. This way I get rid of a lot of his board except Queen Karnasa. And I'll be able to get rid of it with something. I'll have... Alright, um, I'll definitely have to put up a nice black though, because I'm really low on health. Fireball, hey, that's what I needed right there. So I could clear that with Fireball, so that gets rid of a, like a giant minion. I think I have to, right? I don't want to freeze a solo, so that's good. I'm going to have to put an ice block up because I, his hero power will kill me. Now, the only issue now is I need to kill him in the next two turns, pretty much. Because his hero power does two damage. But what I could do, I'm smart. I completely forgot. Alex Straza, you can do it on enemy champions, but you could also do it on yourself. I think that's going to be the right way to go this time. Because he's going to threaten me with lethal every single turn with his hero power. But if I play Alex Straza and clear the board with this, I'll be able to. Cabal's tone would be very, very, like, risky. I think I think that's the best option. And then I could ping the hound to be dead. But maybe this is a better option. Cause I don't really have to freeze them, right? Yeah, I don't know I don't know if card draw or ping. But I mean I think the ping for sure. Now he should pop my ice block again, right? Alright, what is he gonna play here? Okay, so he didn't play anything major. Which is fine. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna have to play Alexstrasza. I think it's my only chance at living here. Okay, so that's not too much damage. If When I put Alexstrasza down, I'll take 7 damage next turn for sure. But I think I have to here. There's nothing that I can do. I have to have some form of sustain here. I just really need to draw one of my Moltens or something. Or something to get my quest done. I mean, Cabalist Tome is good, right? What I'll be able to do is Blizzard and Cabalist Tome if he doesn't do anything nuts. So, honestly, his Karnasa's Brood would be a giant problem if I was any other class, but my Blizzard is perfect to take care of it. And that also shows that it was good that one turn that I used the 6-mana one, because now, this turn, I'm able to Cabalist Tome because I used the lower mana one, so that I wouldn't have been able to if I used the higher one. So, this is good. So, again, I'll take... How much... Why did he do that? That's the real question. Oh, to get... Okay, he he wanted to clear one minion so he could put down another one. So I took four damage. Alright. I I don't know why he did that. If, uh, of course, old Blizzard here. No idea why he really did that. If I were him, I would have just pinged. Left that 1-1 one, one on board because of this. Now, because he did that, his 1-1 one, one is gone, and... Let's see what this does. Okay. I think I'm just gonna hit face, yeah. Because he did that, his 1-1 one, one is gone, and that card is gone. I would've just pinged. That would've been getting me closer to death, and he's, he knows I don't have any more ice blocks. I think that was not a very good decision on his part. Stampede. Now, this only is good if he has... Oh, oh it's gonna be a big turn for him. It's going to be a big turn because every Karnasa brood that he plays, he gets a random beast and he draws a card. But in the end, none of them have charge and I'll, I'll find a way to clear them somehow. I don't think this is going to save him, especially he's not going to be able to get rid of my Elixstraza. I think I win. If I find any other card to get my quest done... Well, oh wait, I don't... I need the Molten Giant to be at 5. I mean, I, I guess we'll see what he does here. Secret? I wonder what that is. 
That can't screw me up in any. Oh, that's a good pickup right there. I could stall another turn. I will mourn your death. Let's see if it. Ooh. That is not one playable. It's 11 mana. I can't play 11 mana. That's fine though. It did it did what I needed it to. So let's just go ahead and do that. And I guess spell counter. And that completes my quest. So I'll play spell counter so he doesn't play anything nuts. Let's go ahead and draw two cards. And I think next turn he's dead. Yeah. My arcane giant is eight damage. All I need is six. And Frost Bull is three. Ping both turns, that's one. And I'll I can find one one damage. I have some card will give me one damage, I know. There there, I think that's that's the win. Yeah. Arcane. And I can play that too, actually. Now that I took some damage, so. There we go. Just wait until next turn. And I have 17 damage on board. Easy peasy, right? Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and a comment. As a support to my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.